Hey guys, so as you guys can tell by the title, I did get a chance to get my hand on the Missy Lynn uh, eyeshadow palette. The one that she was able to, and it also has two baked highlighters uh, at the bottom. This is monumental because not only do I already have her lip gloss, Cocoa Bean, right? Yeah, Cocoa Bean, but I also have this because of the fact of, as you guys know, I am pro black. Uh, I have a video, it's going to be listed down below exactly more in depth on what it is to be pro-black um so on and so forth now further on with the review so i got my chance uh, i got a chance why can't i speak english i got a chance to get my hands on this lovely palette and it comes with six big shadows at the top as well as two baked ones out two baked highlighters at the bottom i do have this highlighter on today i didn't get a chance to film that part for some well i know why my camera decided that it was going to shut off at the end but that's neither here nor there now at the top hopefully i don't blind you guys with the mirror it says start with confidence finish with success missy lynn um i personally do not care for the mirror but i do understand the concept of the mirror especially when you're looking into the mirror and you're looking at the start with confidence finish with success so I love that touch but for me personally I do not use it um I won't be using it but now back to the colors okay now there are basically this is a shimmer this is a shimmer and the remainder of them are matte semi satin finish this one I found that I had to build the color up um I'm going to swatch these let's see Those, those five I'm going to swatch this other one very shortly see that lighter shade it is not as pigmented as the rest are so that was the only uh, issue that I particularly had but other than that I love this particular palette but yeah um, I did love this particular palette um, I found that the colors and the pigmentation going on was good uh, there is a bit of fallout but not a lot uh, I did find that with this particular palette uh, as you guys can see with this particular look uh, I did get a chance to record it um, I don't know why my camera decided that it was gonna overheat and shut down but it did um, but in my lower lash line underneath the mascara I do have this particular purple um, underneath uh, all of that at the bottom now um, all in all I would say to go out and purchase it the reason why it's not only because of the fact of I'm so team YouTube but because of the fact that they are very pigmented and this is the first time that BH cosmetics did work with a black youtuber um, for this and so I'm very proud of her especially for taking these strides and I really wish my phone would stop going off but I really do appreciate her for taking all of these strides that she's been able to do in such a short amount of time and you know just congrats to you Missy Lynn uh, you not necessarily to put more pressure on you but you do have us on your back so thank you so much um, but yeah if you'd like to see how it is that I achieved this particular look for a night out or a time with your girls then stay tuned like comment and subscribe and don't wait well yes I have to tell you something so I got a big response out of the last video that I asked if you guys wanted me to do a eyeliner look the next makeup tutorial will be on I the um, eyeliner all right bye guys I was very hype about this Missy Lynn palette so starting off of course I already did my eyebrows my eyebrow routine will be in the description below um, I used this primer basically all over my face and on my eyes as well as I use my um, Maybelline fit me concealer in 30 cafe which you guys see in the eyebrow tutorial uh, I placed that on my lids just to cancel out my discoloration since I have not been sleeping
so now going into the crease I am using that lovely light brown shade uh, I'm going to basically just fluff it into the crease and make sure that it is nicely blended with that purple shade I'm gonna use that on the middle portion of my eyelid my mobile eyelid I should say and I'm going to basically just pack it on and just keep on packing I did have to build it up a little bit and then just blending out the top part then going in with these two shades at the um, basically on my outer V as well as in my crease. Now going in with my lovely blending brush, uh, with no additional product, I just basically maintain it in that area and just keep buffing it out for no harsh lines. Now going in with that lovely light shade uh, like I was telling you guys I did have to pack it on for the color to show um, but I placed that on the inner third of my eyelid now I'm just going to basically do my usual um, cat eye uh, don't worry my next makeup tutorial is actually going to be the eyeliner one and if you're watching this afterwards it'll be linked down below all right so now I'm just going to use my mascara just so I could prep my eyelids before I use my red cherries in number 32 I think it's 32. I'll list it down below. <laughs> and I'm also going to have an in-depth lashes video soon coming as well. foundation stick in Truly Topaz by Black Opal and then I'm just going to spray my face with a little bit of Fix Plus if that makes sense. So now going in with Purely Beige. Um, normally I use Creamy Beige but I couldn't quite find it um, and I just use that to went to my face. I'm going to have an in-depth tutorial on how it is that I do my contouring and highlighting and everything else along those lines so I'm not going to go too, delve too deep into it. Now setting everything with my lovely and trusty e.l.f. translucent powder um, I'm just basically going to bake while I contour the remainder of my face with my uh, Black Radiance Rich Mahogany, my MAC Sis, and then I use Coco Bean by Gerard Cosmetics, which is also something that uh, Missy Lynn is part and co-creator of. And that's basically the end results of it. If you guys wanted to see how it is that I achieved this particular hair look, I'm going to leave the link down to the video down below to my recent curly hair routine. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. Um, bye!